The new Showtime series Masters of Sex chronicles the pioneers of sexual research, but here's some new modern day data they might have liked to have had. Employees who have sex more than four times a week, they make more money. Just how much more? We've got Market Watch's Quentin Fotrell joining us right now with some answers as well as Dr. Fran Walfish. She is a family and couples psychotherapist in Beverly Hills. Thanks so much to both of you for being here. Quentin, let's start with you. Let's talk about sex. Just wanted that. Let's do it. Just wanted to do it. Uh, a lot of folks are glued to their iPads, their iPhones, their laptops right now, waiting for you to answer this question. You have more sex, you make more money. How much? Five percent. Five percent. Yes, five percent more. And if you have no sex, you might end up earning three percent less, according to the study that was published. Do, do you hear that cheer? You hear the cheering that's going on, right? I can hear it. And I hear. It, I also I hear, hear a, a soft weeping as well. <laughs> yeah, you hear some weeping as well. Uh, Fran, let's bring you into this. Uh, you know, you spoke to Quentin for this story. What were some of the reasons uh, behind this data that you can extrapolate? Uh, you know, in terms of uh, what, the, what the research would show, the why of this. I mean, is it just that everybody loves a winner? Uh, I'm laughing at your staff cheering <laughs> at the anticipation. First, uh, it is no, it is not just that everybody loves a winner. Uh, the physical aspect of endorphins rising with sexual excitation and activity is one factor. But also, if you think of the emotional factor, you know, young children aspire to identify where the power is. And power has always been equated with sexual libido as well as earning power. So it's not a surprise to me that there's a direct correlation. In my private practice, I see a lot of men, I'm in 90210, and even the privileged and stratospherically wealthy have been impacted by the, the low economy in the last couple of years. And I've treated a number of people who are complaining and moaning about their incomes going down. Those are generally men who are not feeling sexual or having as much sex, and they're women who are tired, exhausted, and feeling less interested in sex. That's really inter interesting. I want to come back to that point in just a second. And but Quentin, there are other studies that I think you and I have even talked about them that show that in general people who are more attractive, that they generally earn more. That could maybe be playing to this too right, a little a bit? Right, University of Texas study, uh, three to four percent more if you're regarded as uh, handsome or attractive. Um, that also ties into this study about um, sexual activity because it may also be what you convey to the rest of the world and how others perceive you. If you appear happier, more self-confident, um, people want to be around that type of aura and people who are appear to be drawn to others who are somehow um, deemed more attractive and therefore more uh, successful as a self-fulfilling prophecy. The, where, in case people want to write and thank the researchers or they want to write and, uh, and yell at them, uh, you know, what, where was this study conducted and, and what was the sort of the, the data pool? Right, so it was um, over 6,000 uh, respondents and it was the Institute for the Study of Labour in Bonn, Germany and it was carried out by an economics lecturer at Anglia uh, University in Ruskin University in Cambridge, England. All right, uh, last word to you Dr. Walfish. I mean, it, couldn't we sort of re reverse these factors here, meaning if you make more money, you're more likely likely to have sex just for a variety of reasons and maybe you're just kind of healthier overall? Absolutely. There is the aspect of healthier overall, but happiness, joy, and energy are direct magnetizing aspects to the opposite sex or to the same sex. And so um, when you're happy and when you're earning more, there's extra energy, there's extra drive, ambition, and that energy magnetizes more partners. You know, it's partly perception, but it helps people come to you. Right, Dr. Walfish, thanks for your analysis. You can read more on marketwatch.com.